Hello everyone, this is Mr. Appel, and today I'm going to teach you how to write proper limit notation. So proper limit notation, we, we talked uh, about, you've already learned about, I should say, um, end behavior. And so limit notation, among other things, is going to be used to write limit notate. Sorry, let's try that again. It's going to be used to uh, write end behavior, describe end behavior in a more formal way. Uh, so basically what we've seen is, for example, I, I made an example here. Um, so we look at the leading term here. The leading coefficient uh, is negative and the degree is odd. It's three. So I know that this function is, I know what the end behavior is going to be something like this, right? Hopefully we know that at this point. So I know that as x goes out to the in, to left, to the left, to infinity in the negative direction, x goes out to negative infinity, um, the function, the value of the function goes up, 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 up into positive infinity. But as x goes to the right to positive infinity, this function goes down to negative infinity. So that's a lot to say to describe that. So I'm going to show you how we would write that in words. So we're going to use the idea of a limit. A limit is kind of a, a big concept. It's something you learn a lot about in calculus. Um, and we'll talk about it in class a little. But basically, the, it, it's the limit. It's, it's sort of where the function is headed, even though it doesn't actually ever get there. Um, that's kind of the, the big idea. There's a little more to it than that, but that's the basic idea. Okay. So for this particular function, the limit, so the limit of f of x as x goes to negative infinity is equal to positive infinity, or just infinity. You don't actually have to write the plus, but some people like to do that. Um, and that's how you write it. So it's just saying as x goes negative, as you go further out to the left on the x-axis, the function goes up to infinity in the positive direction, up, up, up. Okay, and then I could also say that the limit as f of x, limit of f of x, sorry, the limit of the function, remember f of x is y, so that's the output, it's the y value. So the limit of f of x as x approaches positive infinity or just infinity is equal to, whoops, I wrote it wrong, that's not right, Let's try that again is equal to negative infinity. So the idea here is I'm saying that the function is is going to be equal to negative infinity. Of course, that's impossible. Uh, you can't actually ever get to positive or negative infinity. But the idea is that the limit, the limit is equal to negative infinity. That was a lot of talking, but the basic idea is you're going to use this notation to describe end behavior. So as x goes negative, the y goes positive in this particular example that it made up, and as x goes positive, y goes negative. So if you're describing in behavior, you're always going to have two limits, the one where x goes negative and the one where, where x goes positive. Uh, we're going to use this more a little bit later in this unit to describe other situations, um, but that's, that's it for now. Uh, that's it. Have a great day.